If you've ever commuted in the Philippines, you've probably experienced the daily dance between jeepneys and buses. One moment you're watching a jeepney slowly fill up at the side of the road, and the next you see a bus cruising past with rows of empty seats. Or sometimes it's the other way around, with a packed bus crawling through traffic while a jeepney zips past on the shoulder. With both vehicles being such huge parts of Filipino life, it's easy to wonder which one actually carries passengers more efficiently, not just in terms of raw capacity, but in how they move, how they load, how they use fuel, and how they help or affect traffic. So today, we'll talk about this topic right here on History of Simple Things. To answer that question, it helps to start by understanding what efficient really means in transportation. It isn't just about fitting as many people as possible into a vehicle. Efficiency can mean how well a vehicle uses road space, how much fuel it consumes relative to the number of passengers, how quickly it loads and unloads people, how effectively it covers routes, and how much it costs to operate. When we compare jeepneys and buses, we're not just comparing their size, we're comparing the system each one supports. When it comes to passenger capacity, the bus obviously takes the lead. A typical jeepney carries around 16 to 22 passengers. Some may try to squeeze in a few more, but realistically, that's the normal range. A city bus, on the other hand, can take 50 to 60 people, sometimes even more, especially newer low-floor buses that allow standing passengers. Just by looking at these numbers, a single bus can easily replace two or three jeepneys worth of passengers. But capacity alone doesn't tell the whole story, because jeepneys do something that buses simply cannot. They reach places buses can never go. One of the biggest advantages of jeepneys is their flexibility. They can enter smaller roads, weave through tighter streets, and operate in areas where no bus could realistically fit. For many communities, especially in provinces or interior barangays, the jeepney is the first and last link to the main road. They can make frequent stops, pick up passengers almost anywhere, and adjust easily to the daily flow of people. Buses rely on wide roads and established stops. They operate best along major highways like EDSA, Commonwealth, or C5, where the demand is high and the roads are wide. But if you live in a narrow neighborhood street and need a ride to the highway, the jeepney is the one that shows up for you. In terms of route coverage and area reach, jeepneys are more efficient because they serve more places directly. When we talk about loading speed, things get a little complicated. Jeepneys load and unload quickly because they stop almost anywhere passengers want. Someone waves from a sidewalk, the jeepney pulls over immediately. Someone taps the metal rail and says, para and the jeepney stops again. This makes things convenient for passengers, but creates unpredictable patterns on the road. On the other hand, buses have designated stops. They load and unload at specific points, which makes the process more organized. Even though the actual boarding sometimes takes longer due to the number of passengers, the overall flow of the route becomes less chaotic. So while jeepneys are convenient for individuals, buses tend to be more time efficient for the entire traffic system because they minimize random stops. Fuel efficiency is another angle to consider. Interestingly, buses often perform better when they are full. A bus carrying 50 people consumes less fuel per passenger compared to three jeepneys carrying the same number of people combined. This makes buses more efficient for high-demand routes, especially those that are consistently full. 
However, buses lose this advantage when they run nearly empty during off-peak hours or on routes with inconsistent ridership. In these situations, the jeepney becomes more fuel efficient because it consumes less fuel and carries enough passengers to justify the trip. So in busy routes, buses are the fuel efficient option, while jeepneys become more practical in low demand or shorter routes. Road space efficiency is another point where buses shine, even though they are physically larger. Imagine 60 people need to travel along the same stretch of highway. One bus can carry all of them, but it would take three jeepneys to transport the same number of passengers. That means three separate vehicles occupying road space, creating more traffic interruptions, more emissions, and more congestion. So on major roads where space is already tight, buses make better use of available space because they consolidate passengers into fewer vehicles. This is a key reason why big cities around the world rely heavily on buses for mass transit. When it comes to reliability and consistency of service, buses tend to perform better. Many jeepney routes lack fixed schedules, and some drivers wait until the vehicle fills up before leaving the terminal. This can cause delays and unpredictable travel times. Modern buses, or even older ones running under rationalized systems, run on more organized intervals. They tend to arrive at stops more consistently, making planning easier for passengers. This predictability is a key part of an efficient public transport system. So, which one carries more efficiently? The answer depends on what kind of efficiency you're looking at. If the goal is to move the largest number of people using the least amount of road space, buses win. If the goal is to serve small communities, reach narrow streets, or provide rides where big vehicles cannot enter, jeepneys win. Buses are ideal for long high demand routes where maximizing passenger load is important. Jeepneys are perfect for interior areas, short distances, and routes where ridership doesn't justify a large vehicle. Both vehicles become efficient when placed in the right environment. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.